Thanks for joining us for the daily reading from the Alive Church Life Transformation Discipleship Plan. Every day we read through the daily reading and the verses that go along with the topic of the day. And if you have any questions or feedback, let us know at office at alivechurch.com. Our readings this week focus on Heaven is My Home. I rejoice today that my name is written in heaven. The moment I decided to become a follower of Jesus, the direction of my eternal destiny shifted. I became a citizen of heaven. As a citizen of heaven, I will promote the interest of my loving Heavenly Father here on earth because my loyalties are to Him alone. I will live worthy of my citizenship through the power of Christ in me. I rejoice today that my name is written in heaven. It was God's desire that I not spend eternity in hell separated from Him. In fact, it is His desire for all mankind. Hell is the eternal destiny of Satan, his demons, and those who die refusing to put their faith and trust in Jesus. Hell's existence is the result of the irreconcilable differences between the holy nature of God and sin. The only solution to this dilemma is for God to change the nature of my character, and that is what He did by sending His Son to the cross, taking my place, and paying the penalty for my sin. The results are that I am made holy in Him, and I am a citizen of heaven. Hell is a place of torment, agony, hopelessness, eternal destruction, isolation, and separation from God. However, my home is heaven, God's eternal dwelling place. In heaven there is no more sorrow, no pain, no sickness, no suffering, no fear, no tears, and no more decay. In heaven I will no longer live in need of anything. In heaven I will see all things clearly that I never fully understood here on earth. I rejoice today that my name is written in heaven. When Jesus left this earth, he went to prepare a place for me in heaven where I will one day live with him in the presence of God, our loving Heavenly Father. I yearn for my home in heaven and all the privileges that accompany it. Until then, I will live on this earth as a citizen of heaven by putting God's priorities into practice in my daily life with a focus on the eternal rather than the temporal. After all, God is a God of love, forgiveness, and grace. His desire is that no one spend eternity in the lake of fire, hell, separated from him. To this end, as a follower of Jesus, a citizen of heaven, I will invest my energy in the eternal destination of others. I rejoice today that my name is written in heaven. Day three in God's Word, we focus on benefits of heaven. We start with the very last book of the Bible, Revelation, chapter 7, 15 to 17. That's why they stand in front of God's throne and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will give them shelter. They will never again be hungry or thirsty. They will never be scorched by the heat of the sun. For the Lamb on the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of life-giving water, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. Now, Revelation 21, 1 through 4. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven like a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. Psalm 16, 11, turning to the Old Testament. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. In our memory verse, Luke 10, 20, Jesus speaking when he says, Don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. Thank you for participating in today's daily reading for Life Transformation. We encourage you to look up the verses and see them for yourself. And if you do not yet have a free Life Transformation Bible from Alive Church, please let us know with an email to office at alivechurch.com. Have a wonderful day.